Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. What the mainstream media conveniently forgot to tell you about the news this week. This is one of the things I love to do on this show, show you what really happened. Well, the mainstream media obsessed about a handshake between President Trump and Vladimir Putin, and the New York Times issued an article still trying to link the Trump family to the Russians. This is what really happened this week. How many times did the mainstream media play the video of Trump shaking Putin's hand? How many times did they play the video of Trump showing respect to our military service members? handing a Marine his cover. Yeah, that's what I thought. The mainstream media ignored that. President Trump proudly defended freedom and family values and individual liberty in his speech in Poland. He did not apologize for American exceptionalism, something President Obama did overseas. The mainstream media did everything they could to hide that from you. U.S. doctors offered free hospital care to Charlie Gard, and no high-profile Democrats stood up for the dying baby. The mainstream media didn't see fit to mention that. Congressman Steve Scalise was sent back to the hospital in serious condition after being shot by a radical progressive lunatic at the congressional baseball game and then contracting an infection. I bet Democrats in the mainstream media couldn't even name the shooter anymore. A black female police officer was assassinated on the streets of New York City. Real violence and injustice against a black woman. The Black Lives Matter movement didn't say a word of condemnation and the mainstream media didn't seem to notice that. A majority of Americans, six out of 10 actually, support President Trump's travel ban. This according to a Politico poll. The mainstream media ignored it. Tourism has actually increased in the U.S. since Trump's travel ban was issued. The mainstream media ignored that too. The FBI is investigating Bernie Sanders' wife, Jane, and possibly Bernie himself for potential bank fraud. The mainstream media doesn't care. Chelsea Clinton claims we're all gonna die if we don't act on climate change within three years. Coincidentally, the same year as the next election. But a peer-reviewed study found that NASA, NOAA and the British Met Office inaccurately manipulated data to draw that conclusion. The mainstream media didn't even report that. Linda Sarsour, organizer of the Women's March, called for jihad against President Trump. Stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Nobody on the left, nobody in the so-called resistance, no feminist condemned her and neither did the mainstream media. Last but not least, under the congressional GOP health care plan, there would be no cuts at all, aid to Medicaid, none. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that's my final point tonight. You could reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, and until then, have a good night.